Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Saturday, 27th, April 2024. Saturday of the fourth week of Eastertide. Christ, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. O Saint John Bosco, whom God raised to be the friend of our souls, set us free from the wiles of the enemy, that we may offer our hearts to the Lord, whole and undefiled. Trusting in your immense love of God, we turn to your powerful intercession, that we may obtain the graces we beg for. We pray for our families and loved ones, Protect them from all dangers and any form of sickness of mind and body. Keep them safe from spiritual decay and moral confusion, conflicts and misunderstanding, separation and depression, sadness, apathy, and despair. May they always remain hopeful in their faith, united in love and joyful in sacrifice for one another. We lift up to your loving care our children and young ones. Teach them to leave as enthusiastic Christians and dependable servants in society. Lead them to follow the ways of the gospel and treasure their intimacy with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Dear St. John Bosco, may we burn with your ardent love for souls as we generously work for the salvation of our neighbor. Bring us closer to the Blessed Virgin Mother that under her protective mantle we may grow daily in holiness and ultimately share the joys of heaven with you and with our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. St. John Bosco, Mary help us Christian. Consecration to the most sacred heart of Jesus. O heart of Jesus, fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the means of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in my temporal need, your blessing on all that I do, and the grace of a holy death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
is what's just your and your abundant life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us first recall to mind our sins. And now ask God for pardon. I confess, oh, Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, my thoughts in my words, words, in what, what I have done, and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the, all the angels and saints, saints and you, and you my, brothers my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord our God. May our merciful God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. In this moment of silence, may I ask you now to collect all your intentions for this Mass. And I'd like you to include in your prayers Father Chris, Chris, Chris Magbitang SDB. The parish priest of uh, Saint John Bosch, a brother of of Mary Help of Christians National Shrine in Paraniate, who passed away just yesterday. So one of our Salesians has passed away today, uh, yesterday. So we pray for him as well. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care. That relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace. They may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him, they fulfill the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him to, in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers he has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus as it is written in the second psalm, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord, the Lord said to me, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. And now, O kings, give heed, take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him 
with trembling rejoice. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. Sabi ni Pedro. Nag-uusap si Pedro at si Juan. Sabi ni Pedro, parang Juan, bakit parang takot na takot ka? Sabi ni Juan, pinagalitan kasi ako ng tatay ko. Ha? Pinagalitan ka lang, natakot ka na agad. Ilang taon ka na ba? 21 na ako, paring Pedro. Oh, naku, tignan mo nga naman. Ang tanda-tanda mo na natatakot ka ba sa tatay mo? Sabi ni Juan, paano hindi ako matatakot? Eh, isang taon ng patay ang tatay ko. Hmm. Well, today, my dear friends, in today's gospel, Jesus talks about fear. And he says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Well, my dear friends, this is not just an exhortation from Jesus. It is actually a gentle command. Do not fear. Jesus already knew that his disciples would soon see him arrested, that he would be falsely accused, that he will be mocked, beaten, and eventually killed. He knew that they would be overwhelmed by what they would soon experience. So he took now the opportunity in our gospel today to gently rebuke that fear that they would soon face. He says, do not let your hearts be troubled. You know, my dear friends, fear can come from many different sources. Some fear is helpful to us, such as the fear in the present dangerous situation, for example. Yung takot tayong pumunta sa madilim na lugar, o kaya lumapit tayo sa matasamang tao. And that kind of fear can make us cautious with things. And that is a good fear. But the fear that Jesus talks about today is a different kind it is a fear that can lead us to irrationality or to confused decisions and even to despair. 
This is the kind of fear that our Lord wants to rebuke from His disciples and even probably from us. Kaya ito yung magandang itanong natin sa ating sarili. Ano ba ang ikinatatakot mo sa buhay? Ngayong panahon na ito, mayroon ka bang takot na pinagdadaanan sa buhay? Many people struggle with anxiety, with worry, and with fear for many different reasons. And so if this is something you yourselves struggle with in life, it's important to remind ourselves of Jesus' words. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Huwag kang mangamba. Huwag kang matakot. And added to this, there is the second command of Jesus. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. Well, you know, my dear friends, the opposite of fear is not calmness. The opposite of fear is faith. Faith in God is the cure for fear. When we have faith, we are under the control of God. It is God that directs us rather than the difficulty we are facing. Because fear can lead us to irrational thinking, to irrational and deeper confusion in life. However, faith pierces through that fear, through that irrational fear, and it presents us clarity and strength. Kaya kapag may pananalig ka sa Diyos, kakayanin mong tu- su- suungin at tiisin ang lahat. Tiniis ni Jesus ang krus. Kalauna ng mga alagad niya, tiniis din at binata ang krus. And so let God strengthen you. Fear not. And just have faith in Him. Oo nga, tama ka. Napapagod ka rin. Alam ko. Oo, nasasaktan ka rin. Oo, nauubusan ka rin ng presensya. Oo, marunong ka rin sumuko kapag sobra na. Pero bago mangyari yun, tumingala ka muna at sabihin, Kinaya mo, Lord. Kakayanin ko rin. Believe me, You too will overcome your cross. Just let Jesus' words ring out. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in me. Huwag ka lang matakot. Maniwala ka lang sa Kanya. Amen. St. John Bosco, Mary Help of Christians. Let us pray with complete trust in our Father, who in Jesus prepared a place for us in heaven. Father, lead us to your kingdom. Father, lead us to your kingdom. That the church may lead the faithful in the ways of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, lead us to your kingdom. That public servants may become living and effective instruments in the transformation of our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, lead us to your kingdom. That those who are troubled by material and financial concerns may seek refuge in our Lord's providential care. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, lead us to your kingdom. That in our bodily or spiritual infirmities, we may all the more depend on God who wants to grant us total and permanent healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Lead us to your kingdom. That those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, lead us to your kingdom. 
All this we ask of you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that these our offerings and sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time above all to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. David, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, they may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Chris, Chris, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Among them, our deceased family members, relatives, and friends, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint John Bosco, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and embrace and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. We now call on God, our Father. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and serious illness, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the, of the world. world. Grant, Grant us peace. peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to partake of his meal. Lord, I am not worthy that you should, enter, should enter under, under my life, roof. But don't but only say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be filled.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With yours. And may our compassionate God bless you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thank you, God. Sa Don Bosco Masaya, Sama Sama.
cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video nếu thấy hay hãy nhấn like đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé